Hey guys, this is Dilmar again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to continue today on the programming with C Sharp and Python and show you how we can declare variables in both programming languages. So I jump into my computer and I start working on it. All right, welcome back today, guys. I'm gonna start doing video two today and we're gonna go over different variable types for both C Sharp and also Python. I had a good time by working on both of them at the same time and I think we have a really good setup now to be able to continue and work on these two amazing languages at the same time. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create a video too and I'm going to basically just duplicate everything that we just had. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and click on C Sharp and then reveal in Finder and if you're in Windows you can do you know pretty much the same. I'm going to just duplicate this, it's going to be video 2. And then I'll do the same thing in Python. I'm going to duplicate this and it's going to be, you know, video 2. Awesome. And then I'm just going to focus on video 2. Also video 2 here. And then we can just basically rename this to be video 2 on the Python side. And then also for the project on C Sharp, I'm going to have to rename the CS prod. And I think everything else looks fine. All of this is going to be regenerated. So we could in fact just delete the bin directory and it's going to get regenerated with the right files. And also the object can be deleted. There we go. I'll have a script later on so that we don't have to do it these every, you know, every time manually. Okay, so we have basically what we did before and then which was a hello world. So why don't we change, let's go ahead and change this to be video to video to lesson we can call. And then I'll do the same thing here. And then everything should just work. So if I go back to that directory, so now we're just going to CD back to video two. And then let's do the same thing here. It's going to be video two. Awesome. So now I can just say Python video two, hit enter. You can see the new string. I can also do the same thing here, that net core run or the net run. And then you can see that this shows, actually didn't show what we're supposed to be showing because I haven't saved the file. Let me do that one more time and hello world is still so let me see what i did wrong okay lo looks like i changed that run so i changed the one for video one instead of changing the one for video two let me make sure that i do that there we go and you might say it's too early to start making mistakes but you know even even you know people that work on this for years make mistakes all the time so that was an example of me making a mistake today so that's going to keep happening <laughs> All right, so I can just go ahead and do that net run. And then you can see that everything is working. So what I'm going to be teaching you today, it's going to be variable. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually show you how we can do comments because that's something that I'm that I'm probably not going to be covering in its own video. So comments in Python are going to be the number symbol. Comments in C Sharp are going to be the double, double forward slash. This is for single line comments. If you want to do multiple line comments, you can do that. I don't really recall what it was in, in Python to do multi, multi-line, but for now we can just, we're just gonna need one line and I'll show you in later videos how we can do a multi-line multi, multi, multi -line in Python. And I'm losing my, my voice right now. Okay, so what we need to do here is we're gonna say, okay, this is gonna be for variables. So we're gonna say variable, variable types. And we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be printing that. It's just gonna be a comment. And common comments are really good when it comes to, you know, you want to make comments when you want to explain your code or when you want to remember about something or for the most part, your, your code should be the documentation. But a lot of people, when it gets really complex, it's really a good idea to actually have comments in your code. So I use comments, you know, from time to time if I need to explain something or if I need to remember myself about something in specific. The, so now that we have those two comments, you can see that if I do that net run here in Python video two, that information is not printing because that's just comments is only, you know, visible in the code, but not actually something that it's going to be printed out. So the variable types that we're going to be covering today in C sharp and Python are going to be, so we're going to be looking at numbers. So there's a lot of different number types in, you know, when it comes to, to dealing with numbers in programming. I'm going to be covering, co covering today integers. I'm also going to be covering strings. And we can also cover doubles, or we can just cover floats just to keep it consistent with Python. 
So we're gonna do integers, strings, floats, and then on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cover all of those in the same, except we're gonna have the pound here, and just do pound, and let me just do, and this is not pound, this is the, the number symbol. Okay, so I think we're I think we're good there. And then now what I need to do is, okay, I need to declare a variable. And whenever we wanna declare a variable, that means that we're gonna be storing something in basically a, an actual an actual variable. That's what it's called. So let me let me type it in and I think it'll make more sense. So let's say that we wanted to store the age of a player or the age of a person. So normally, if you need to store that and tell the computer that you want to store that information, you wouldn't want to store the age in a string because a string is for something that that it's it's called a literal. So something that it looks like the it's going to be a string. It's it's not a number. It's not numeric. It's actually something that you you know it's a phrase. It's so that's when it comes to integers, and we need to store the age. This is something that we can do in C sharp. We can say okay. The age of this person is 25. Let's say that we wanted to do the same thing in, in Python. So in Python, you can't, you can't say that. You can say age equal 25. And then, in fact, if we do that, it's going to say, you know what, I don't know what that is. This is syntactically incorrect. But in C Sharp, I could, do, I could do that. It's not gonna print anything because I'm not telling the system to print anything just yet. And, and also it says that it's not getting used because I'm basically declaring it, but I'm not doing anything with it. So in C sharp, I would need to do something like this. I would need to actually print the H, so I could put it inside of the inside of the right line, and then I could do something like this, and then just do that net run, and you can see that the H twenty five it's getting printed. I don't get the warning because I'm also I'm now using it. Let's say that I wanted to do something similar in Python. So Python, this is not the right syntax. In Python, the the interpreter, the Python interpreter knows what you know what this type is based on the type that you put on, you put on the right side so he knows that this is the number 25 so it's going to use the it's going to use this as an int in fact you can see that it's showing h as an int and i didn't have to explicitly tell that it was an integer so now if i do something like what i did on the left side but on the right side i could do h and now i can do python and you can see we're you know we're, we're doing the same thing on both sides Okay, so now that we have that, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and do let's do this so that I can they're more they're, they're both at the same level. And everything should still work because we just have spaces and it's just ignoring the spaces. So let's say that we wanted to now do a string. Let's say that we wanted to give this person a name. So you would do something like this in C sharp and you would say person, but you can just say name. You can say the name of this person is John Doe. And then we want to print that information out. So we would just say console.writeLine and we would just print the name. Then in Python, to do that, you would need to do something like the same, similar, but except we're gonna be using single quotes for, you know, for strings. In this case, it's gonna be John Doe. And if you hover over name, you can see that it knows that it's a string. In Python, a string is represented by the word str. In C Sharp, it's represented by the word string. So it's spelled out. And if we do something like what we did in C sharp, we can say name and we can you know run that and you can see the video to lesson and we can do the same thing in C sharp. And you can see, you know, both of them are working, everything is working fine. So what if we wanted to do now a flow? Let's say that we wanted to have a precise location or 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 maybe the weight of a person. Let's say that this person weighed 200 and I don't know, 22.5555, something like that. We can say, you know, the way of this person is, we can say 200, maybe 222, two, two, and then we can just get very, very, very explicit in, in how much this person weights. Maybe we wanted to know all of these decimal points, and then we wanted to print that out as well. We can say weight, and if we run this in C sharp, you can see that we're going to get an error. And the reason why we're getting an error is because you need the suffix, and it's telling us right here that we need to use a suffix to create, you know, to be able to do this. And if you do that net run now, you can see that it's now printing. So it looks like this is going up to four decimal places. And if I do the same thing here, I could do the same, something similar, 
But in this case, it's not going to have to, I don't have to tell it the type. I can just say wait. And then what I'm going to do this in this case, I'm just going to copy this value. And then I'm just going to say print. And then we're just going to print the wait. And now if we just print this out, you can see that that is basically printing everything. So one thing that it's different here is this one is printing all the different decimal places. This one is only printing up to four. And I believe that's because of the formatting, because of what I'm telling the right line to do. I'm only telling it to, to actually, you know, include four different decimal places instead of the five decimal places. But, you know, the, in behind the scenes, it's actually, that is actually what is getting a store is, you know, the whole, is the whole thing. And then in this case, it's just printing basically what I'm storing. So if I wanted to do something like a much smaller number, I could do 12.5. And I could do the same thing here, 12.5. And then we could hit, you know, see Python in action and also that net in action. You can see that they're both equally correct. And now that I have, you know, I show you some of those data types, I, I could show you how to do multiplications and operations on those, but I think I'm going to leave that for another video. Another thing that I want to cover now, let's say that you wanted to have a, you know, a more of a friendly printed information in here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do, let's just go ahead and format this so that I can see everything better. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to print a few dashes and then and let's make sure that I, I don't use the Python. I use the C sharp, which is double quotes. And then what I'm going to do here is we can say, you know, we also want to show the formatted version. Format it. And then this is going to actually be we're going to show the name of the person, the way, and also the age. So if I want to do this in, in C sharp, all I have to do is just the a string interpolation. And I can say name, which in this case is going to be just name with curly braces. And then I can say the weight, which is going to be just weight. And then I can also say, you know, the age of this person. Maybe the age should go before. We can just say age. And then I could say, you know, this is the name. This is the age. And then lastly, this is the weight. And if we go here and we were to run this, you're going to see that now everything is nicely described. This is the name. This is the age. This is the weight. Let's say that we wanted to do that in Python. So we could do something like that similar. And in Python, we can do something similar to what we did here, except we can just use the plus symbol. We can say, you know, the name is going to be and then we also have a space between these two, so make sure that you do that in Python. And then you can say name plus, and then we're going to do age, also add a space plus age. And then we're also going to do, lastly, the weight. And we also got a space and then weight. So I'm concatenating them with the plus symbol so that I can add those strings together. So now if I clear everything here, clear everything here, print that here, and then print that here looks like I'm getting an error here. The reason why I get an error here is because I'm telling the system that this is the H is a string and where it's really not a string, it's an integer. So you need to surround it in Python with the word str to convert it to a string. I'm going to have to do the same thing with weight. So if we do that and we run this again, you can see that now we get the name, we get the H, we get the weight and everything matches up. So that's basically an overview of how variables work in both Python and C Sharp. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can do use some operators to do multiplications, you know, so, so subtraction, and basically do math with some of the, you know, the decimal and the integer types that we have. And then in the next video after that, I think I'm going to start looking at functions and, and show you how functions in Python work and how methods work in C Sharp. So thank you guys. All right guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just show you on variables, please let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check me out on patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much guys.